evening, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to Sunday Drive Season 8. We're here at Round 3. We're back at Paul Ricard, guys. The game that's been specially added to the game. Mishmael Puzzle, we've got, like I said, bringing you live coverage. Round 3, 15 drivers in. We've got Axel Reese, Greza, Avatar Evo, Oli Champex, Koista Jagger. We've got, we've got, the, he's got the moves to Jagger. We've got Baker Gaming, Master Spread. We've got Betcher, Apex, Big D, Whitey. Who's still whited from last week, clearly, at Singapore. We've got Woodsy Davis, Zero, and Goomba. This is your 15. Lots to talk about tonight, guys. I'm going to address some of the shit that's happened in the other fucking RF1 league. We're going to talk about that after. Um, unprofessional streaming. Absolute fucking shit show for the most part. But anyway, we'll, we'll concentrate on this for the moment. Right, uh, but what we got? We've got to wait for someone to come out and track, are we? Everyone just getting their setups on at the moment. I believe someone... Oh, it said someone went to one. Someone's around. I think someone's out on track. Let's have a look. It is Ollie Champ. Let's go, Bobby Ollie. When he comes out of the pits, here we go, here we go. Well, come here, bish. Yeah, yep. You were, you were expecting that one. Here comes Ollie then in the teal blue car, coming in towards Turn One. Do love a bit of France, actually, guys. France, one of my favourite tracks on the old games. Not raced it yet, but I've added it to my personal career mode. So we'll see how that goes a little bit later on in the year. France always been one of those tracks. Basically, well, there's about 475,000 layouts for it. See how the games have they actually edited it in with the new handling? I'm not really sure if they have, but we'll wait and see. See if that's actually been a thing. We got, of course, the Jagger and Betcher all out on track as well. Cars starting to filter out now. 18 minutes in short qualifying already. Graz is on medium tyres, which makes about as much sense as Pete Burns' songs being sung on stream in 2023. Um, but yeah. <laughs> Um, 16 and a half minutes to go then. Ollie, I, I don't think he was here last week, but he is back, of course, after his good opening round. Ollie then, P4, as we get rolling. While we're just waiting to start, guys, I'm all dressed to elephant in the room. Obviously, I'm a founder of RF1, sweated for years over that. Obviously, I've not been around for about a year um, in that league. And we're going to go straight in and talk about unprofessional bullshit. If you can't take criticism on a fucking stream, but you can give it, quit. People in the chat were basically saying to... I, I, I don't go call them straight. I'll call them gunners because that's what I'm talking about. I don't hide behind no mask. Like, at the end of the day, you go through whatever shit you're going through. You've chosen to be a streamer for a fucking league. Don't shit your stream down because you're having a hissy fit because you got because someone called you a name. Man the fuck up. Making the league that I built, the house that I built, look fucking stupid. Lucky that fucking... Lucky that RF1 league should be going. It's not RF1 no more anyway. Fucking shambles. Anyway, Ollie Champ comes through then. He's starting his lap. Let's get a ball with him. Coming through tier one. Oh my god, that's actually quite loud to be here. And here comes the Scale Electric. On we go. People at the old half need to fucking go some balls and kick the fucker out to be fair, because he's useless. Uh, here we go. Sector one coming around the tight round. I think we've got someone moving out of the way there. Didn't quite see who that was. Car in the, a white car, I believe it was. We've got maybe white to get out of the way there. Coming through now to go down the main se DRS section, the back straight, of course. Um, have they actually still got they've got the chicane in this? I thought he took the chicane out. Guys, did they take the chicane out? I'm sure, all they did. I right, just fucking imagine that shit. Anyway, Ollie coming through then, nicely executed through the chicane. Towards end of second, two, of course, he's going to get purple first second because he's the first one to do it. Hand in purple, first sectors out like Will Smith hands out slaps at the Oscars. Coming round the right hand and out. Almost a carbon copy of the snail section in China. Is he going to hang it in there? He did. Pretty decent there by Ollie. Really good qualifying by Ollie, of course, in Monza, opening round of the season. Will he be able to continue his one lap pace? He is pushing. He's running low on fuel, so he's gone for the, He's gone for a one and done here. He's going to have to firmly get off the racing line. We've got other cars coming round as well. Just after, I believe Betches is coming up next. So we're going to get off T-Cam at the moment. We're going to go back onto broadcast. Flying down the main straight then we go. Only champ goes across. I don't know how this is going to relate in terms of current F1. It's 1 minute 50.5. Let's go here. I believe that could be Betches. It is. Where's he going to fall? I think it's a couple of seconds out, isn't he? No, only a second out. Good lad there. 1 minute 31.8. Pink car master spread. Looking like it. Oh, no. No, he's, he's invalidated. Oh. Hoist the Jagger it was, sorry, the other one, 1 minute 30.1, good luck there by the Jagger. Uh, Greza on mediums, big D on the softs, so very close up top, 9 thousandths of a second between the top two at the moment. Green car then of ATS, the Apex coming across the line, Bish's best buddy, and it is 1 minute 31.1, and Goomba beats him 1 minute 30.7 immediately straight after, great car, great dot then of Woodsy coming across, and he's 
Brown's up the field at the moment, one minute 32.9. Davis comes across. Davis very quick in the first couple of races. One minute 30.192. Half a tenth between those guys and zero comes across them with a one minute 30.061. Almost in the 29s already. Avatar Evil, former teammate of mine in RRF1. Spread sucks. Oh, okay, mate. I, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't tell you Mrs. Janelle that, to be fair, mate. Well, you trying to kid you on a split already, do you? <laughs> Does she suck better than her? <laughs> Leave that there. Um, who's best mate? Oh, Apex is yours. Uh, <laughs> White is involved in it. Okay. Um, on board then with Bakey. Uh, we might... <laughs> fuck. No holds part in the street. I'm pissed the fuck off. Yeah. Offending people since 2023. Avatar versus Boo. Lap 1 minute 30.7. Very, very close there. Uh, eight cars within seven tenths of a second. Quite a big lap to be that close, in fairness. Got on board with Baker then. He's the one currently on the outlap. In fact, Whitey, is he still invalidated, is he? Yep, so he's still running around on his invalidated lap here. Baker then coming around. First sector here. Very, very easy to invalidate this, especially if you're running on a strict corner cut, which I believe you guys are. I believe you guys are running on reduced damage. I, I can make some, um, if we can get some meow emojis in the chat. Get this shot on fucking standard damage. Get your safety cars upgraded. Fuck glitches. You're going to get glitches anyway. <laughs> Spread around an outlap, of course. Just in front of Bakey, actually. So what will Bakey be able to do, then? Really good qualifying for Bakey last time. Yeah, Grass has got a bit of pace there. <laughs> After the, this is my last stream, guys. So obviously, I know I won't see any of you again on my streams because you only watch my F1 content. <laughs> so me and Bish are going to go back to doing co-ops this week anyway. So, you know. It's been nice knowing all of you, Consider I haven't streamed art for any form of F1 for like 15 months. I've seen you about six times all together combined. <laughs> Dark Mark has joined. He's finally fucking woke up then. Jesus Christ, great league running, mate. Full sleep during it. <laughs> Bakey then. Coming round the third sector. The track's pretty cool. This is the track I come back to SF1 with and got wiped out. Something about being wiped out by people. I don't know what it is in this fucking game. I didn't have a ginger car at the time either. Uh, Bakey come around the final corner. Then what's he going to go? We've got literally 2.8 seconds between top and bottom at the moment. Where will Bakey fit in? There's a big gap between Apex and Betchers. I think he's about to fill it. Oh no, Bakey only on 1 minute 32.7. So he won't be very happy with that one, I don't think. Dark Marks jumped in. There you go. Spreader then, I believe it's Spreader. Then. No, it was Whitey on the next lap. Whitey on the next lap. He's coming through Sector 3. And around we go then, ladies and gentlemen. Nine views. Thank you for watching. If you haven't followed, be sure to do so. This is going to be my last F1 for a while. If at all. Uh, on the stream. Other than doing, like, co-ops and stuff. Uh, I contemplated coming back to league racing. But to be fair, it's... Too much effort. Too much hard work. Too much hassle. And the stress levels are going through the roof. And I can't be asked. So... Whitey coming across line. Where will Whitey come? That's not a bad lap by Whitey. And he's the best reserve. Oh, no, he's nil. Oh, God, half a tenth, a tenth of a second off of Betcher. So, but what the, what is he, what the fuck is he doing? What is this fucking ass clown doing? You guys let that rise? What the fuck is this clown doing? Get off my fucking screen, you monk. Right, anyway. Um, fucking idiot. Right, um, sector three. Master spread. Okay, somebody who seems to be able to have a knowledge of driving the track then. Okay. Uh, right, final corner then for master spread. Okay. We saw that. Why would you cut corners? Just get back to the pitch, you fucking idiot. Anyway. Yeah, what well, ass, exactly, yeah. Um, spread air comes across the line there. 1 minute 29 sets the pace. I like that we do have Axel Reese. There's a car. Oh my god. Fucking Jesus. Who was that come out the pits? I think Woodsy was just half asleep. Got the pits. He wiped out the spreader there. But here comes Axel Reese. This is what we're going to be watching here. Oh, Iggly Buff. Oh, fuck the screen. I'm going to there. Two seconds. Go fucking catch an Iggly Buff. Oh, I've got him. Right, okay. Back to Apple. Right. <laughs> Yellow flag round there. I believe that is uh, Whitey, who's literally whited all over the track. I mean, to be fair. I think he must have been having a bit of a fucking five knuckle shuffle a moment there ago, to be honest, getting across the road. Axel Reese. Go on, bitch, back the ugly buff. Go on, buddy. Take it all the way. Bitch, get him. Got it. Pops, Paul, what the fuck? 
Uh, oh shit, we're watching F1, aren't we? Uh, Axel Reese then. Uh, we're in the 29s with one car. Make that two. Oh my fucking god. Lights out for the opposition. You know you're awake. Oh, you might as well stay asleep, mate. Fucking hell. Jesus, I have to deal with some of the driving that the Whitey cut across the corners, man. Jesus Christ, that was that was us back in there. That motherfucker when I got his ass bent over and spanked. Right. I believe we've got big. Big he's gone again here. Sin so it's better than Gunners driving back in the day, so it can't be fucking much worse. Um, here we go, like round that. I love how the rims are kind of. Can you even colour your rims in this game? That'd be kind of cool. I don't think you can, can you? <coughs> go, bitch, get it! Bakey, is he going to be... Now, that's miles off his time there by Bakey. I believe we've got um, Coisley Jagger just behind him. It looks like he definitely is improving. Oh, not enough to move up position, though. Not enough to move up. Right, we've got loads of people on flying laps at the moment. Let's go to the people dot of Big D. Who is three times... Big D can move to the top of the charts here. Oh, no, no, he won't because Axel reset. I forgot about... Oh, only Champ won a lap. That is... Missed that one. And Greta. Great stuff there by the two of them. Big D goes P2. I knew it was going to be a good one. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Go on, lad. I'm a time people come across like a bitch caught an eggly buff. Oh, he improved, but didn't improve his position. Okay. Well done, bitch, mate. Driver of the fucking day. Extra point. Yeah. Uh, Davis improved. Didn't improve actually at all. Was that an outlap for him? No, he's, well, he's invalidated anyway, so that's absolute. Waste of spunk. Uh, right. Zero comes across the line. And it's the fastest lap for Zero. Huge improvement. 1 minute 29. 3, 1, 4. Three, one, blah, 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 six people dropped into the 29s then. I guess that's the main target. Goomba crossing the line. Improves his time. But literally had exactly the same time. Sticky race for 1 minute 30 points. 7.92, 1 minute 30.792, and just like, don't improve the time at all. Was he no improvement there? Oh, he did improve, he's above Bakey Gaming, so 1 minute 32 point... What the fuck? What the hell is... The part of the pits. Oh, of course we're not fueled, isn't it? Not much words for this right now. Uh, still haven't got my um, other... St oh, he's going back in the pits. I think it's going to be the last run now for most people. It was invalidated. Avatar invalidated. Goomba coming back into the pit. Say, Magi, yeah, he's well slower. Actually, is he? Is he slow? I, I can't even tell in this game. Yeah, I'm well slow. He's well done. Uh, Woodsy is six steps down in his lap again. Well, he's run out of battery. That's not going to get done for you, is it? Uh, Darkback's still in the lobby. You got up here. Okay. You are. I wolfed him. Take something for the bag, whatever, though. Not fair. Right, back, back to it. Here's Master Spread, then. Probably the reigning champs down in sixth position. I mean, admittedly, consistency will be key for him. Show up to every race and show off, I suppose. That's what you've got to do in this sort of environment where every single position scores points. But has Spreader. Showed his hand a little too early. It's getting a bit cloudy. He has just set the purple first sector. Tenth up on his own time, but he needs to nail every single corner to the best of his ability. Spread is washed. Uh, but, uh, have I, have I, um, have I been away from the... Oh, only five place penalty. What for? Whitey's just hit the back of him there. What's got... What's gone on there? Well, to be fair, Whitey was driving like a fucking retard earlier, so... I mean, um, pff, anything can happen. I don't know what the fuck's going on. I missed it. Five place penalty for Ollie. That's not ideal. Ollie right at the top of the charts is going to knock him right back down into the midfield. Not good for him at all. It's better than P6. Looking for that improvement. It only needs a couple of attempts of a second. Don't know literally what happened there for Ollie. I mean, like I said, Whitey was just driving like a mong before. So, I mean, if that was. But admittedly, Whitey is the one on the fast lap, so and Ollie was on the outlap, whether it was unavoidable or not, obviously I didn't miss it. As we're on board with the fast lap of someone who's driving inside the lines. Spreader crossing the line goes P3. That could very well change, but we've got Apex coming up next. Whitey just his lap's been effective. It must have been something to do with Ollie. 
We'll have to get that confirmed later or something. I was not 100% sure what's going on there. Whitey and Betch is currently racing on a different console, I believe that is. Not the PC, I think it's PlayStation they're running on. But Apex come across here, he's got a big improvement to make and he does. He only goes at one place though, even by gaining half a second. Such is the gap between the lower half and the top bottom half and the top half of the field. The top half and the bottom half, sorry, I can't fucking speak. Apex then at 1 minute 30.573. I believe we've got a couple more cars coming around now. Who is that? Whitey coming into the pits. And we've got Betches starting his flying lap. Is that raining? I believe it's raining, guys. It is. So there's your laps. You've got to get, a, get your lap in immediately. Whoever's not on a flying lap now is going to be struggling. And I think, I don't even know if there's going to be anybody really improving, to be honest. Who've we got going on? Purple. Big D starting his flying lap. This is nip and tuck, really. Where's Davis? Where the hell's he got? He's eight. Oh, he's, on, he's only just starting his flying lap. They've left it too late, I believe. I think Spread has hit the jackpot. And Coyster Jack is qualifying is done. Spread is done. He'll be going back out. Goombas come around. They've, I think if Goomb no, he's on an outlap too. They've literally not judged the rain at all well here. Zero on an outlap as well. I don't think anybody's going to be able to improve now with the rain, with the conditions coming in. I mean, I could be wrong. Apex has got his lapping at the perfect time then, seemingly. Axel Reese retires. Yep, he knows he's retired. No point going back out. Absolutely. Axel Reese, a veteran of the racing scene now for three whole years now. What the hell happened there? Um, I think Greza may be the last one to get a competitive time in here. Greza, is this going to be enough? I don't think it is, you know. No, it's not. It's two tips down. The rain of rain's affected everything. That's it. I, I, I mean, potentially some of the bottom guys might want to get a lap in. I don't know. Well, Betches, I think, might get a tiny improvement here, possibly. No, he doesn't. For some reason, he slowed down on the line. I mean, I, I don't understand why he did that. I mean... <laughs> yeah, they're all retiring from session now. There's no point at all. Oh, Mark, there's no point. You might as well just come to the pits. It's, it's seriously... <laughs> there's literally no point. Yeah, Goomba's loose in the back of the arse said, There you go, it's over. Another one in the pits. Post to Jagger. Seven, eight, nine. There's no point, guys. You're not going to improve. Bring in so I can go for a smoke. <laughs> Are we going to get a wet race? That's the question. We doubt we might as well get a time set just in case it doesn't let him race, but he's not going to move. We might get to 14th here. Yeah, there's no improvement. At all. In fact, Bakey's not actually too far off an improvement. Depending on how bad Bakey's lap was earlier, but this is now almost wet conditions. If you have a look here, you can see the rain now, guys, visually. And yeah, this is, yeah, seven temps down. Bin it. Put it in the bin. Big D. Retires as well. Yeah, I think everyone's going to, everyone in the pits just retire. Get yourselves done. It's over. Other than that, well, Grez has taken it to the extreme and just left the entire session. I mean, fuck it, why not? <laughs> just retire. Fuck it, just leave the whole session. Why the fuck not? It's going to be interesting to see if Dark Mark... Someone needs to bring Greza back in, I'm assuming. I don't know if I've got him on my friends list anymore. As we rock on towards the end of qualifying. There you go, guys. Zero pole position. Axel Reese, master spread. No Maka here tonight, interestingly. Dark Mark then coming around to be the final person to settle up. Whitey, for some reason, is still going around. I, I, I don't know what... That, that, guy's, that guy's on a mission of some sort. But anyway, uh, Dark Mark is nowhere near. He's going to be 16th. From the back is Mark, then. See Bakey being pulled into the pits. Sharing a pit garage with one of the pink dots. <laughs> Which I believe is um, Koisty Jagger. We'll go on board, Whitey. He's, no, he's not going to improve. I mean, it's... It's like Greg Moore syndrome, RIP, putting a kid on the dry tires on white truck. I guess we're going to end the session with a lap then. So well done to zero. 
the Bakey to retire then, I think, and then we can get moving. Zero, sharing top spot then. Sharing the front row, beg my pardon, with Axel Reese. Just a shade under a tenth of a second. Master spread then. Bags third position. Of course, Oli Champ falls down to tenth, so he falls behind TSD Apex there. Profiting as a spreader and big D share row two. It'll be Grezzer and Koyster Jagger row three. Davis and Avatar over row four. Apex and the penalised Oli Champ row five. Row six is going to be Goomba and Betches. Whitey and Woodsy on row seven. And bringing up the rear, it's going to be Bakey and Dark Mark back in two minutes. Oh, fucking hell, people are watching now. 12 viewers. <laughs> Thank you for watching, guys. Right, here we go then. So, my final TSD stream. Gonna be a tight. Let's all collectively cry ourselves to a slumber. <laughs> Gonna fucking miss it so much. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 16 drivers, of course, now. Dark Mark jumped in. Dark Mark, we've got um, an array of mediums and hard tyres. I love this game because of the strategies it kind of throws out and imposes. Interest now, Big D, Grezza, and Davis. And I believe Whitey down the bottom there, of course, on the mediums. Or the hard, sorry, begging my pardon. Everyone else opted for mediums over the Bakey game, and who may as well take a chance all the way down there in 15th place. You might as well try something when you're down there, to be fair. So France, Paul Ricard, very, very entertaining track. Always brings about some racing. you just got to kind of, at the start... <laughs> fucking hell, bitch, just go... What have we got? <gasps> Paragon! Yeah, fuck, fucking hell, yeah. Sweet. Paragon. Guys, Paragon in the chat. So, oh, I've got it. Bitch, come on, let's get it. Fuck you, man. I've got an ultra ball. Fuck that shit. There we go. Right, sorry. <laughs> we're back. Actually, we're going to get the Pokemon. We need to check. We need to check. 
Nah, nah, come on, bitch. You used two balls. Fuck off, man. What, are you trying to make Paragon the dick in your fucking dick and ball sandwich or what? Go on there. <laughs> Here we go, then. 16 drivers. Going to be ferocious at the top. Oh, Axel Reese has gone on to hearts. Bit of, um... Bit of mind games and tricky coming on, potentially with teammates, etc. Whether people will be able to share, um... <laughs> bitch laughing. Whether people will be sharing garages with other people. You'll be able to have a... Oh, look, there's like a random woman. Is that a woman or a man? I mean, we are in 2023. It could be a fucking spade for all I know, or a fucking table leg. Nonbinary.com forward slash something. <laughs> Don't know what time we're going. Hopefully we're going in a minute. Fingers crossed. Uh, I'll then be used because I want to get cracking with my stuff later. Not got long tonight, so I've got to get get through this. Uh, right, okay then. We are ready to biggity bounce right now. Uh, hey, bitch, we caught it. Yeah! Get in there. Fuck it, bastard. Da, 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 da. I don't believe formation laps on. Let's have a quick check. Uh, there's my set. There's my assist, guys. <laughs> I run some. Uh, formation practice formats off. Dynamic realistic formation lap is off. So we're going to be going. I love all the formation laps off, but they've left it on immersive. <laughs> it's that. It's that immersive. It's off. Yeah, man, I've only got the ones so far, mate. I already had the eagerly buff, mate. You know what I mean, you have to let you catch up, but you know what I mean. But yeah. Uh, so yeah, basically, guys. Um, this is my last TSC stream for a while. You'll be left with the delightful commentary of Gunners from next week. Hopefully he doesn't bitch and fucking cry and walk out of the stream again like he did last week. What a fucking shambles that was. Like, honest to God, what, like, just take criticism. You can take, you, you know, like with streamers, I find it funny. They take the piss out of people. Like me, I take the piss out of everyone. But, oh, what the fuck? We're going already. Four, five, five okay. Um, right, five lights. I didn't even get a warning or a prompt. Okay, well, I guess we're going already then. What the hell's that about? Okay, position change. It's like out of the fucking enemy. Catch back up. I believe that Zero's got a flight. Very, very nicely. Gress is already overtaken. Big D. Gress is on the hard tyres. Oh, they've got three wide. That never usually works. Oh, my God. It came very close to contact. Going up and down the order. Nobody seems to have caused any issues at the moment. Oh, Ollie Champ's fallen right down here. Ollie's just get, not the ideal way to get around that corner. Uh, Axel Reese all over the back now. Uh, we've got people moving up and down all over the place. Goomba seems to be... Oh, Apex has gone around the outside of a few cars. Good move there by Apex. Himself, P10, he has dropped the mission. Betches has moved up three places here. Excellent start for Betches. Oh, and he just lost the place. Well, that's not ideal, is it? Uh, right, so here we go. The Jagger, side by side with Davis. Two very, very ex two excellent performances for both guys in Singapore. I think Davis kind of would have expected to be a little bit higher, but the Jagger, round the outside of Davis, could move there by the Jagger. P, but both remaining in their positions. The top eight basically stayed in the same position, barring Greza and Big D. So then we've got a bit of shuffle back there. You can see a little bit of battle in all the cars. Nose to tail at the moment, it would seem. Avatar Evil having a, a much better qualifying than he had back in Monza. That's just, it's got back, back past Apex. Oh, hey, go on, lad. Dark mark up three places. Holy champ, of course, had that penalty, and now he's fallen another six points. just fell from the fucking back, mate. Damn, I just gotta take it easy in Apex here. Whitey on the outside here, the two reserves. Giving it some at the moment. Oh, just on the inside, couldn't quite make the move done there. Zero, of course. Fuck, I thought it was a fucking bomb or something. I was like, Jesus fucking Christ, man. Fucking loud bang, that was. Sorry, guys, a bit distracted there. Already a gap open up between eighth and ninth position. Betches with Apex there. Look at Whitey! Go on, tighty Whiteys. Dark Mark having a little look here. Oh no, sorry, that was Goomba begging my phone. Goomba, sorry, on the outside. Forgive me, Whitey's back there. Big and tighty Whitey's here. Comes Dark Mark. In fact, Goomba overtook Whitey because it was Whitey on the outside of Apex here. So Goomba has actually moved to a position. Just watching this battle back here at the moment. Apex here has a little run potentially on Betches. <laughs> it's literally the top half of the races and then the bottom half of the field's Dark Mark's family and friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh, fucking hell. What a divide. <laughs> Apex moves to P9 over Betches. Uh, okay, now. Uh, Dark Mark then quickly on board. We're going to go up top, actually. I believe that, oh, there is a battle going on back there. I believe that was Oli Champ on Woodsy. Oli moves to 14, but Axel Reese is right on the tail now of Zero. Already on lap three, pretty much. So we are going quickly through here. 
You may hear my fan, guys. It's fucking roasting in here again tonight. The temperature's really beginning to pick up around here. But it feels muggy, you know what I mean? We're at that sort of muggy sort of level of July, but it's kind of pissing down, but the temperature wants to break out into gorgeous sunshine. Dark Mark moves to P12 over Whitey, claims that position. Let's move on to the tyres then. So there we go, guys. We've got eight drivers actually have the hard tyres. So Zero is the only driver at the moment running at the medium. He potentially may be trying to go for the medium, soft to counteract that. Whereas you can kind of anticipate the hards have left the option open for themselves to move on to different tyres. Zero and managed to have more ERS than Axel Reese as well. Grezzo, the master of saving his ERS, even he's down in the 30s. Grezzo, of course, missed last week. Our opening winner. <laughs> Ollie champs round. Ollie champs round here. I don't know where the fuck he's off. Tracks this way, bro. There you go. He's back. Right, I'm moving back up. I'm sorry, we with DRS. Look at the DRS biting with a three second penalty, taking three laps. Will we get a DQ here? Avatar jumps to the P7. Well done for him. Betcher's there. Tenth place. Still doing pretty decently. Betcher's hanging on. It was during this particular time that Betcher's kind of hung on in Singapore, and then himself and Whitey just kind of the experience level really did show, and they ended up kind of falling back down the order. France is a track where, obviously, with the increased grip and the increased drivability around this game, that's what I was alluding to in qualifying. They kind of edited it in. In France, you can grip more. It seems that way. You can get around corners a lot easier. It's when the tyres are about 30 to 35% wear, that's when you're really, really going to see people begin to struggle on their tyres, especially the medium tyre. It's one of the worst tyres. I'd say it's the worst tyre out of the three in this particular game. Right, here we go then. Oh, who's the back end there? The best. I think Goomba's going to come on the app. Yeah, Goomba's having a look here. Top 10 for Goomba. Obviously, every position scores, so is an incentive for you to keep on racing. Keep on trucking, as they say. Good move there by Goomba. That's up into 10th position. And Woodsy dives at the inside of Whitey. Whitey's going to do a switch back here. That's lovely. That's a lovely move back there by Whitey. Goaded Woodsy into making a move, which has brought Bakey back into the situation here. Fighting for battle for 13th place, just to show, guys. That we do watch, you know, this is how, this is to let streamers, some other streamers, oh, this game, oh, what's he like, ah, that's, that's silly. Didn't need to do that, was he? Ah, uh, excitement battling, oh my god, where the fuck's Bakey off? <laughs> I, 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 think, I think he's left his fucking donuts on the side of the road there, Bakey, seriously. Make me one, mate. Through goes Betches, Goomba, the race veteran, lead race veteran, and Betches is round the outside, dude, good stuff. Once he finally does, Whitey then. Seems like they're a lot more competitive this week in terms of the battling. It's a much more open road. And here is Whitey's got Woodsy back. Woodsy trying to switch back there. Oh, hello. That's not a bad little battle list at all. Didn't get the job done, but I believe we've got Greza up here. And Axel Reese has caught up with Zero as well. The medium tire, like I said, awful. But these guys are all on the hards. Top six drivers on the hards. Avatar Evil with a penalty. Didn't catch that one there. Avatar with a three second as well. I believe this is Greza moving into the podium position. Master Spread J got his first podium last week, of course, at Singapore. As it was Kamarov and Axel Reese just miles up the road, basically. They kind of had their own little race there. The thing is, for the battle for third, they can't hold each other up too much. Not too much threat behind them. Big D there. And look at that. Woodsy and... Whitey again, Woodsy at the inside. I'm just going to keep an eye on this battle for the moment. Whitey's retaking the position off Woodsy. Just look at the minimap as well, like I said. For those of you who are new to streaming or if you've been streaming a while and don't know how to follow a battle, this is how you do it. Right. Eyes on the minimap, eyes on the gaps. That's what you've got to do. Nice and easy. Nice and easy does it. Dum, 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 dum. Huge, huge break up application there by Grazer going into that pretty much stop 90 degree corner going into the chicane. Not a true chicane by the sense of the word, of course. Greza into P3. Three temps back, I believe. Blakey, we're going to have a little look at Blakey Gaming back here because he's all over. Woodsy Whitey holding on to 13th position. Very, very nice indeed. Dark Mark beginning to catch up with the battle for 10th place too. <laughs> Bish, what you put laughing emoji for, emojis for, bro? No, I don't know about it. Wasn't that funny? <laughs> uh, here we go then. Whitey, battle for 13th, as you see here. Uh, look, we've got a battle up top as well. I'm just going to nip up top really quickly because Axel Reese is a tenth closer. Oh, no, he's not. He's the same gap. Sorry, forgive me. Zero had a better final sector at the scene, but Axel Reese is going to be able to get back into it. 
Both not really using the overtake. They've got to save some battery, to be fair. <laughs> yeah, fair enough. Woodsy with the second penalty. We're on lap six and well, he's still on lap five. He's accumulated more penalties than he's done laps, which is not exactly ideal in any stretch of the imagination. France is quite an easy one to accumulate penalties for, of course. Having the runoff areas, etc. I mean, that's why I'm not taking the piss out of people staying within the white lines much here, because I'm not very good at this track myself. But here we go then. I oh, used to be, used to love this track. But, uh, I think Axel Reese now. Zero hasn't put enough gap on that I thought he would do. The best way to save VRS, of course, lift and coast, baby, lift and coast. Axel's having a look here, just keeping tabs with zero. Greza beginning to kind of kick into gear here as well. He's on in, on lap six. Only a sh only 1.9 seconds off the leader is Greza, 1.8 now. As these two, they're not really battling, but Axel isn't really moving forward as much as what he would ideally want, you'd imagine. I think potentially if Axel takes the lead, he may run off with this one, but then you've still got very, very competent races like Greza and the triple world champion of TSD, Master Spread. Well, not really a world champion, is it? It's not. Well, yeah, I suppose we've got international people racing. We've had King Chris in the past, and we've got the Jagger as well. So, yeah, it is an international feeling, to be fair. Blast me, guys. Sorry about that. Bit of a stuffy nose. Our top two are still nose to tail. We'll keep on this a minute. I do see a battle brewing for 13th again. Huge battle in back there. Dark Mark has actually found his way. Oh, no, he's not found his way through it, so he's still yet to pass Betches. Interesting. <coughs> I believe we've got reduced safety cars, so we can get safety cars, but it's most likely because it's reduced, it'll be a VSC as opposed to a base safety car. I believe Davis has just got Big D. Yes, he has. A Big D goes round. You fair me right round, baby, right round. Big D, oh, bloody hell. Where's, where's he? Oh, I think he's just moving back offline. And on we go. There we go. Big D's back on track there. Has he actually got a safety car? Would be surprised there is one. No, it's not. Just then. Woodsy and Whitey, the battle there. Follow it. And Ollie is trying to make a move on Bakey here. Great move by Ollie. No DRS assistance. <laughs> Trust me, you don't want to hear that song. Fuck that song. Um, <laughs> zero leads the way. Axel Reese P2. Dark Mark is going to take a Betches finally. Into the chicane. Will Betches fight back? I believe he will, you know. I believe he will. He's actually going for it. Dark Mark for multiple times. He's an Eastern Racing Champion of multiple leagues. He's been overtaken by a rookie who's two races into his career. Fucking go on, Betches. It's a family show, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Fucking hell. Uh, as so we've got the top two within half a second again. I'm just paying attention to this battle really quickly, guys. I've just got my eyes peeled on the bottom. We've got two and a half seconds now between first and third. Just opened up a six tenth gap in the last lap or so. Zero. Still making the tyres work at the moment, but they will fall off a cliff very, very soon. We've got a little battle here. You can see sixth and seventh. Now the battle's been promoted. Ah, oh, here we go. Bet ah, Bet has moved over. I was able to kept the line, but he hasn't kept it. And Dark Mark's going to ease his way into the top ten. There you go. Would have been lovely for course, but Big D spun round. Having a really good race, Big D, at first. And Betches with a penalty. That's a bit harsh, but... I mean, he may have cut two corners before that, but, you know, shit happens. On board with Betches now. Chasing down. <laughs> Fucking just need a comment again, Betches. Makes me chuckle. Betches then. Oh, battle for top! Battle on top! And Axel Reese has made his move! And I believe he's gonna get. No, he, he has got DRS as well, I believe. No, he hasn't because no DRS on this straight. What a dick. He got the move done with DRS. <coughs> is Zero gonna wait for the line potentially? Axel's actually saved up some D, some ERS as well. And I believe Ollie and Whitey at the back there. Ollie clean move on the DRS. Ollie up to 14th in the background. Huge battle up top. Axel Reese takes to the front. And it took him eight laps to do so. Zero held on admirably. Axel Reese saved his ERS up for the right time. He's still got some to defend now. Literally the best way to save ERS completely off the throttle, guys. As well, Zero goes through. What Pokemon have we got here? Does that say Kink? Oh, Clink. I say Kinky. Hey. <laughs> 
And I'm already kinky enough, so that's fine. I've already got that one. Right. <laughs> uh, four tenths of a second now. Will Axel Reese take off in the lead here? Or will Zero keep up? He has to. I don't know what sort of game he's planning to play here. So if he's going to go onto the hards, he will fall down. You would imagine to about P5. <coughs> Come closer play. Or P4, anyway. David seems to be all by himself at the moment. But Zero just continuing the DRS. You'll notice Greza may start to catch him soon when the medium tyres begin to crawl off a cliff here. It's a shame that you can't see the tyre uh, map like you used to be able to in 2016 and 2017 before they patched that. Once again, an F1 game that patches something to detriment it. And what is it? Why are you guys? Are we? Oh, here we go. Avatar Evil to Jagger. Side by side, which has brought Apex and Goomba into play. They're not... Uh, Jagger got a three-second penalty for that. Apex having him, fancies himself some move for action here. He's not quick enough to get alongside Avatar. But he has moved ahead to Jagger. Oh, Jagger's just literally drove off towards fucking South Africa. I mean, that's where he's from, at least. Here we go. And there's Goober on the inside, too. Jagger's really been caught out here. Koi's caught out. Goober couldn't make the move stick. Jagger keeps eight position on board. From Evil Age, just seeing the background. So, Avatar and Tears the Apex. Apex up to seventh position. Oh, God. Who's going to be the first one to take the plunge into the pits? Oh, and the Jagger spun around Apex. The Jagger, it wasn't really, it wasn't intentional at all. Just a little mini tap there. If they penalise that, then I call it nepotism. But we'll move on there, right there. I believe he's like, yeah, he's letting through anyway. Fair play. It was completely accidental. <laughs> and that battle ended quite... Suddenly, Goomba's a big profit today. He was P9 in this particular phase, and now he's all of a sudden found himself up into P7, charging after Avatar Evil. Goomba looking to really claim his points. Addi additional, but I've, I've lost my fucking trail of thought. Okay, sorry. And we see here two, two individual battles here, one for first, and another now for third position. So you can see here, Master Spread has really caught up with Greza. I don't know if Greza made a mistake, or Master Spread just started to use some ERS. Axel still saving some EOS for himself. He's 20 per well, just a shade of a 10%. Baker game penalty there. Baker game not having the best of race weekends at the moment. Currently rocking bottom spot at the moment. Lap 10, we are on, ladies and gentlemen. Just shade of a 17 laps to go. In my final stream for TSD, I believe. I've already said this before. <laughs> but um, yeah, I'm just covering for the you spin me right round guy. Mr. I shut streams down because it's my stream and I do what I want. No, motherfucker, I do what I want. <laughs> you do as you're told. Oh, dear. <laughs> Fucking funny. Uh, right, anyway, Axel Reese, the just holds on. Zero couldn't quite get enough momentum. Challenge for the lead. He's doing really well on the mediums to keep pace, to be fair. I think when we can, when they all go for the pit stops, I think that's when shit's going to change round, you'd imagine. If he goes onto the soft tyres, he's going to have to drag these mediums all the way to lap 17 at a minimum, you'd imagine. Maybe 16 at a push. But then that'll leave him very, very vulnerable at the end of the race for the soft tyres going off. I don't know. Are these guys going to be going onto soft tyres? I really, really am unsure, to be fair. Goomba is still all over the back of Avatar. Oh, wait, there we... I think... No, I don't think there's going to be any move or movers or shakers here. As we pretty much line a stern. As we come towards half distance in the race. <laughs> it was your fault, Bish. Three, you, sh you should get a quali ban for what you did. <laughs> you have to start our co-op with the controller upside down and using your toes as your punishment. Master Spread's really fallen off here. He's dropped a whole 1.2 seconds back from Greza. Don't know what's happened. I think Greza must have even done well. He seems to be... Really moving up, and look at that, you almost sniffed Axel Reese had for dinner. Goodness gracious me, we'll need confirmation of that in the chat. <laughs> yeah, some things have to be said, otherwise people keep doing the same old shitty things over and over again. It is what it is. You know what I mean? But like I always say, if you can't dish it out, if you can't take it, guys, don't dish it out. Don't, don't dish it out. You can say what you want to me, I'll just even laugh it off and call you a cunt twice as hard back, it's just the way it is. Here comes Zero! But now Greza has joined the fun here at the top. Greza is into is into pure into a pure battle. Zero, another penalty. Three weeks in a row now. Zero has had a penalty, which has affected a position for him. Of course, in Monza, ironically, he lost top spot to Greza. 
Really good battle up top here. Ollie has a five second speeding in the pit lane penalty, which isn't ideal under any circumstances. Ollie, the first one into the pit, so probably wish he could still have one more lap now, knowing that. Ollie going on to the hard tyre, that'll be pushing him all the way back down to the bottom of the field, you'd imagine. And it does. There goes Bakey past him. Lap 12 of 27, and we've got a three car battle at the top of the order. But we've got another little battle here, we've got Apex. Ah, they're both on DRS. Well, we may have to make a move here, but that'll compromise him. It'll compromise him if he doesn't manage to pull the move off. So Apex has got a much better line coming out of the chicane here. You see Goomba riding the curb. He took a much narrower line coming into it. Goomba's lost control of the car a little bit. Will Apex be able to capitalise? Nope, because he's used all of his ERS. He's going to be running on a flat Duracell in a minute. In fact, he has overtaken him. Has he done it? Goomba just needs to... They've, got no... They've both got no battery. Both still rocking 12, 11, or 12, 11 and a half lap on mediums. And Apex, nice move there, moves himself up into P7. Top three still. Hammer and tong, nose to nose to tail to nose to tail. Up here we are. Zero just has to try and hang on. <laughs> and that's my nose blow. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. You're not going to get it next week. I believe that. I believe that's Avatar Evil and Goomba both into the pit. So I'll be stopping for the hard tyres, you'd imagine. I wonder where they're going to come out. I think they might actually beat Woodsy out the pitch, you know, here. So this is going to be ideal for both of them. They are going to be together. Betch is having a fine race, by the way, in P9. Dark Mark silently moving up to P8, beginning to catch up with Koista Jagger. I believe anybody on the mediums now, you may as well stick at it until soft tyres. You're going to lose about two, three seconds, you would imagine, <coughs> to those around you catching you back up. But then it's all going to come back around when you fit a set of fresh softs on. You just need, they need to make sure they don't lose too much time here. Top three just keeping themselves biggity bouncing along as we are now. This time next lap, it will be half distance as we reach lap 14 of 20, lap 27 here at Paul Rickard. Top four have escaped. Davis having a sound little race. A good race. In fact, he's currently rocking P5. No penalties at the moment for him, nor for Apex. But of course, all of these guys up top have to pit. And they did, they did. In fact, Avatar Evil just, in fact, oh, yeah, they, they go. Look, they beat Woodsy up by a couple of seconds barely see him so these two are still battling absolutely on the limit here Goober that I believe is a net P6 well done up into oh here we go Zero's pitting him and spread the pits in that's an odd decision there for spreader is he going to go long on the meters maybe 14 laps Apex also into the pits. They're not going to be able to run the soft tyres here, surely. But this is the first hard to medium tyres pit stop. Dark Mark is continuing on. He's going to go... Mark will go to the softs again. Like I said, you're at the back of the field. You may as well try something a little bit different from everyone else. But that now means it's Axel, Reese and Greta. Week 1 and Week 2's winners. And they're actually on the same points as far as I'm aware as well. So that's ideal for them. And here we go then. Axel Reese has broke the toe. Big battles here. Betches with a three second penalty. He's currently running in P7, so Betches having a really, really good outing here today. Zero and Spread have both come out in front of Betches. That's an ideal position for them to come out. Big D still recovering from his early spin that dropped him to 12th. I believe he still is in a net 12th place. He'll have a battle will be confirmed when everyone else comes into the pits. And up top, we got Greta. All over the back there. Oh, it's fucking right. Why is the fucking timing screen so big this year? Fucking hell. It's much smaller last year. As they are battling up the top. First and second position for those two. Through goes Greta. Round the final corner. All over Axel here. They both got identical ERS. If Greta uses ERS here, he will go past. Big D overtakes Betches. For having a bit of a ding-dong. Let's go back to watch this a minute. Big D does get passed, but he's not made it easy for himself. Spreader, I think, looking to make initial moves early on. Oh, nice drive in there by Big D. Getting a much... Went in with a much wider line so we can kind of get a much more, much faster acceleration coming out here. And Zero and Dark Mark, former battlers in SF1, of course. 
Next time you'll see me on stream, guys, I believe it's tomorrow. I'm doing some NXT in the morning. Uh, I believe I will be. I do have some tidying up to do as well, which is going to be the excitement of my day tomorrow, I believe. <laughs> we'll keep our eyes peeled back there, but we do have a battle and another potential lead change. It's going to be the third lead change, or second lead change, beg my pardon, of the race. You had zero leader for so far. Greta all over the back here of Axaris. This is zero, of course, moving ahead of Dark Mark. Master Spread has now joined the fray. He will be looking to move into a podium position for himself. Vetch has gone and got Big D here. Ooh, hello. That was a fine move by Vetch, but he did ride the curb. If Big D can get himself... Yeah, Vetch has got caught up on the curb there. A little bit too overzealous there for the defence from Vetch. He got the move done, but didn't really think about the aftermath. And we've got a yellow flag. It's Goomba. Goomba's round. You have to move off the racing line here, Goomba. You'd imagine. Ollie Chapel over the back. I was wondering, where the fuck's Ollie? I was there. P2. And P3, pitting. Which is Greza and Davis. Davis is going to easily, you'd imagine, keep himself in a net P5. He just has to basically beat Avatar Evil out when he's miles up the road from him. And Big D comes into the pits anyway. That is... What is... What? Remove that penalty. What an idiot. That just just caused Big D a five-second penalty, guys. They need to remove that. Absolutely remove it. Big D slow to the right time. Betch has used him as a breaking board. How has he not got damage? Oh, this, this could be interesting. And because, yeah, Big D, you'd imagine they have to remove that five second penalty. That's appalling. In fact, I would probably apply it to the other guy. I'd probably give that, I'd, I'd swap it on to Betch's to be fair. Because he just used him as a fucking breaking board. Axel Reese here, looking to move. Make moves. Is he going to go to the soft tyre, potentially? Master Spread, of course, did get the fastest lap in that shenanigans back there. Grazer has overtaken Darkmark. Darkmark going to soft tyres. He's, he's having to do it, but Darkmark, of course, puts himself in shit positions. He may get fastest lap at the end, but then he's going to fall right down, so he's going to be falling right to the bottom of the field, pretty much. And Big D overtakes Woodsy. Nice and easy move there. Up into 12th place for Big D. Now he's going to be catching up with Ollie Champ. These two, ironically, were literally racing back to back together at one stage. Or well, they were together and qualified there, I'd say. Axel Reese is coming for the soft tyre. Has he pitted too early for that? That tyre's going to be cooked at the end. Big gamble. Yeah, he's jumped. Yeah, there's zero getting the fastest up. Spread has moved to second. Reza to third. So we, oh wait there, is Darmark going to get him as, oh, oh, is Ingressor to third? No, it's not, Axel Reese maintains third position. Zero with the penalty at the moment, but he still currently holds on to P2. Master Spread at the moment is winning this race. Based on penalties, Greza just needs to kind of hang it with him. Davis currently rocking P5 at the moment, always there floating around Davis if it needs to the potential to move up a few positions. Thank you everybody for watching, guys. I will not be back next week. You're back with the um, you spin me right round man. With the back with the you're, you're back with the man who shuts down streams because he wants to. Uh, <laughs> I'm taking as many shots as possible. Because that shit was funny. If you don't like it, tune up. Right, uh, here we go then. Avatar Evil there, P8. We're gonna go back to Gresser because I believe Gresser got very close there as well to the back of Axel Reese. <laughs> Have a nose blow. Enjoy yourselves. You won't be hearing many more of them. Because nobody follows me across to do my other content. You only watch me when there's F, F on there, you fickle bunch of bastards. All right, not forgotten that, of course, as I mentioned. Here we go. Avatar Evil. Chasing down Apex. This is going to be the battle there. Goomba was up in that battle as well, but he did drop the back end. Or he got a hit. I didn't actually see Koyster Jagger having a pretty quiet race of it now. In P9. Well, is it, Pino? We don't know about penalties, etc. Big D needs to have that penalty removed as well. I hope somebody's fucking listening because and it needs to be applied to the other guy. Big D around the outside of Oli Champ. Is he going to go for it? Oh, Oli closed the door very nicely. Oh, Jinx. What? Oh, wait there. Oh, Dark Mount Pits. But I'm catching a Pokemon. Wait there. Stop distracting me. Oh, I've got it already. Right. Oh, side by side. Big D up the inside of Oli Champ. That is P11. Dark Mark falling. <laughs> down to ninth. Goomba's going to get him. I believe Darkmark's going to come back out in P12 here. So Betches, 
Oh, he's got another. He's got a five second penalty. For, uh, that's ironic. What the hell's going on here? Why are they all pitting again? Has there been an incident somewhere here? Oh. I'm listening to that probably talking in the ground. In the ground. Like, to be fair, I believe that he should have a five. I, I, that's what I reckon. He should have the five second penalty applied to him. He twatted on Big D. Bakey game in. He's going to move into 13th place. Bakey, fair play. They're all going on to the soft tyres. I believe, yeah, Betch is... Um... Right, here we go. They're all coming back out. So that's Whitey, Woodsy. But like I said, the, the new guys are just seemingly... Oh, Big D! Overtakes Goomera. Big D, the man on the move. Moves himself up in a P9. <clears throat> Spend a 1.7 seconds off. Up front, we're going to take our time just to watch some more front runners here. Moving on we go. Just shade on the net. Well, there we go. Nine laps still paid it. Now, guys, like 19 of 27. Greza with the fastest lap of the race. That's interesting because Axel Reese is on the soft tyre. Greza is putting in the fastest lap of the race on the memes. Now, effectively, this is the battle for the lead. Zero, two seconds at the road, about three seconds ahead of four. So the podium could go any way. I can't imagine Spedder holding on to this for too much longer, though. He's got the guy who just set the fastest lap behind him and Greza also. Axel Reese then leading the way. You would imagine after this particular corner, Spreader leads his battle. And he's already got past him, I believe. Spreader, is he even trying to defend it? No, he's not. And well, he does have Greza behind him. Now, this one's interesting. Greza's, Greza's tyres are two laps fresher than Spreader. So you'll see Spreader's beginning to struggle when we get to about lap 25, 26. That's when Greza really should be able to open up the gap to him himself. And now Axel Reese is on the charge to overtake zero. Greza down the inside at the fast right. Spreader holding it around the outside. Is he going to be able to do it? But he's going to be at a huge disadvantage here. He's going to have to go the long way. Greza just needs to get a car length in front of does. Greza moves into the final podium position. Of course, that is a net second place. Dark mark over to Excumus. Fresh softs. We'll do that for you. Oli Champ on the back of Goomba now. Oli looking to move up after his terrible start to the Grand Prix. And his five second penalty as well. No raid after the stream, guys. We're going to just be doing quick interviews and fucking off. Right. So, eight laps to go now. We've got zero leading the way. Axel Reese P2. Greza P3. Master Spread P4. There's your top four. These are the guys going to be fighting for the lead here in the French Grand Prix. Round three of season eight of Sunday Drive. And I believe Koyster Jagger has caught up with Avatar Evil. These two have had a pretty much a race long battle. Low key. Nobody has saved up any ERS. <laughs> Betches is literally using ERS for no reason. It's like 1.9 seconds off waiting. <laughs> Fuck it, it's there to use. Boris the Jagger. Three second penalty. Greza having a look at Axel Reese here. Maybe looking to bait him out potentially. Axel Reese at Apex, the best team. Team Green, of course. It is a top three now. Spreader has been dropped by the top three. Looking to keep his consistency level up. He's in fourth place at the moment. Looking to try and bag that podium off zero. Axel Reese up the inside here of the hard tyre. Clad zero zero. Looking to fight around the outside. Admirably so. Reza now. Oh, look. Zero's going to drip. Look at Axel Reese around the outside. Reza. Oh, trying to put his nose in there too. You imagine Reese may take off here. Soft tyres showing much more grip at the stage. Dan, six lap all has Betches with the penalty. Be looking to keep himself in this race, to be fair. Axel Reese on the soft tyres. Doing a wonderful job keeping that position at the moment. Zero pushing him round the corners, it seems. But now this is where Greza will be extremely dangerous for Zero. As he looks to get himself up at the P2. <coughs> the tyres may turn round a little bit and Whitey and Betches, in fact I was taking the piss here Betches actually caught Whitey incidentally right behind him <laughs> I was going to say seven drivers have no penalties I believe Big D's penalty was an absolute joke so that should be removed obviously I don't do shoe and I can't be out of that bollocks oh. Spreader in P4 
you can just see the madness. He's probably hoping all three of them spit off a blow up. As we see, Avatar Evil, these guys are just starting the DRS strike. Hoist did move up, and he's up into P7. Depending on the penalty situation, that will change, maybe. Apex with no penalties, just keeping himself out of sight from the South African. And Avatar Evil. Oh, got a bit of a battle here. Bakey came in. Trying to hold on here from Betches. He was overtaken, Whitey, incidentally. Whitey, another three second penalty. Yellow flag here. Ollie's round. Ollie's round. Oh, I don't know what happened there. Missed it. Obviously, it's me. Betches and Whitey both overtook Bakey Gaming. Bakey felt. Oh, I think Bakey went off as well, incidentally. Don't know if that was any contact between the two of them. Reserves battling it out. Who goes Whitey? Fair play. Keeping hold of 13th place. Both of those tyres will go off before the close of play. Spreader looking to try his ass off to try and keep himself in the hunt for P3, but his mediums will be dead come close of race. Obviously, with the additional DRS support, we may see Zero potentially cling on to a podium position here. It's going to be interesting to see whichever way they go. Ollie pits in. There was damage then. In the battle with Goomba. No other battles on track, barring Betches and Whitey. We'll go back to that in a minute, but we are staying tuned then. Here's the look from the top two from P3's perspective, Greza. Bit of really entertaining races, guys. Hope to reason your own. Sorry. Uh, <laughs> perfect timing that was. Very close here. Jagger and Avatar Evil. We've got Big D looking to hold on from Darkmark as well. Shade over a second there. We're going to go back up top as we have some more DRS action. The fucking sound's gone funny again on lap 23. I did this last week as well. It's fucking annoying. So close now between the top three. Still six tenths and they're over three seconds clear of Spreader. Axel Reese has carried these two forward. It means that Spreader's currently missing out on his second podium of the season where Zero is going to get his second as are Axel and Greta. Davis just chilling back there in P5. He's got this. He, Davis can almost pit for softs. He's at that point now. He can nearly come in and pit about five seconds away from it. Gain the extra point. Why not? And... Zero breaking the toe, but that means he's broke the slipstream of first place. Well, he's actually back in the slipstream here. Once again, back on board with Greza's POV on the T cab. That's fucking awful noise. Listen to that. Ah! Fuck off. Yeah. Look okay, guys. I need to hug you. Go bed in a minute. Fucking hell. Jesus, man, fucked. <laughs> Avatar Evil overtakes Koist de Jagger. And uh, DRS, well done there, Batches. And Whitey also. These guys are almost at the point of being lapped here. They may get caught. If they keep squabbling like this at the back, they're going to get caught and lapped in this 50% French Grand Prix. <laughs> oh, God, sorry, bless me. Ollie Champ with a three second penalty. This has been a race to forget for Ollie. Get yourself out of there and move on to the next one where the you can't, you spin me right round man is going to take over from me. Poor you. <laughs> Axel Reese, zero, and Greta. I think Master Spread has pretty much burnt his tyres out here. The top three, nose to tail to nose to tail in a little conga line here. Axel, his tyres are going to be going off as are, well, all of the tyres are going to begin to go off here a little bit, so it's going to be intriguing to see who can do this. Greta on the outside here. He's got through. Now then, this is going to be interesting. But Axel's got to defend from Greta. Finally, we've got some true, true action here. Moving into the final part of the race. Axel leading the way, but this is not done and dusted here. Greza looking for the move. 
No, oh, they're never going to be the same again, mate. Unfortunately. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, if only people knew. Right, here we go then. Axel Reese from Greta. Then Zero. Will he go for the move here? I think Greta's just waiting for that 27, you'd imagine. Oh, shit. So I guess press it too many times then. 10 views. Thank you very much for watching. Double figures, of course. So that people seem to remember that I exist when I stream F1. You know, they they call they call them fans and followers, but then they only um they they only say hello when you're working for them. You know what I mean? You know what I mean, Bish? It's one of them, whatever. <laughs> Greza, two tenths of a second. He's got a good run here. In fact, he's got a perfect run. Greza takes the lead for the first time on lap 25. He did this in Monza. Has he played his hand too quickly? He's going to need a perfect three laps here to maintain this. Axel Reese's tyres are looking worse for wear now. <laughs> you know, bro. I'm try I'm genuinely I'm knocking. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Grazer. Leading the way. Oh, wait, there we got Big D overtaking up. Uh, oh, God, look at this. Three, pretty much three wide, three, three car battle. Big D scything through. Can't come out of nowhere, fucking hell. Won't be up, almost, almost won't be up anyway. Uh, the Jagger and Big D looking to make a move. Dark Marks, ploy for soft tyres. Well, he's in the same position as what he was, so it hasn't really backfired. Ollie Champ overtakes Betches for P12. That could very well change. <coughs> Axel Reese hanging on to the coattails of Greza. But Greza, when he hits this form, Ends up becoming a really, really top quality. Well, he's top quality racer, you know what I mean? But he ends up nailing. Oh, and you don't want to take that corner like that. That'll be guaranteed to be a warning that unless he let off the throttle. Don't want to. I mean, I understand he's trying to build the gap up, but you don't want to get yourself a penalty. Otherwise, Axel Reese has won this by a mile. Master spread there, pretty much settling in for fourth position. He has got two lap older medium, so Davis, yeah, I've noticed here that Davis has moved up there, as moving a bit closer. Coist the Jagger. Oh, you can do your rims. That's pretty cool. Fucking Barbie car there, Koyster Jagger. <laughs> Avatar Evil with another three-second penalty. That could really cost him towards the end of the Grand Prix. I've seen his name come up a couple of times now. I don't look at penalties until the end. Axel Reese having a look here. Is he going to make the move? Then I don't think so. Whoa, come out of nowhere there. I don't know if I'm going to actually do the rest of my F1 tonight. I might just go put some UFC on and just fucking chill with a couple of beers. I don't know. <laughs> Plan on what I'm going to do, but this race is not over yet, ladies and gentlemen. These are the three guys, barring any incidents, who are going to be on the podium. They're saving up the ERS as best as possible, but you don't want to get off the back of this train. Zero's driven a superb Grand Prix here. To be fair, I'm going to keep, I'll be honest, guys. I believe you do give Driver of the Day points to commentate the driver of the day. I'm not going to give mine at the moment. I know who I'm picking, but I'm going to be naming it at the end. It all depends how this lap finishes. I don't want to name driver of the day before the end of the race because that's just dumb as shit. Right. Here we go then. And they are coming up to a back marker. This is the wrong time for them to be catching the back, back markers. Seriously. Baker just having a shame, shameful race here, basically, for himself. 27 seconds of gap, so we know that Goomba can actually, Goomba can actually pit for softs and still get, well, he could have pit for softs, still get fastest lap. Or go for fastest lap, should I say. Axel Reese has got Greza on the last lap. He did him under DRS, and they've got no battery power between them. Well, Zero's done. That's him done, basically. Axel Reese has a slight bit left. Wait a minute, they're going, he's going a bit slow here. We're coming towards the end now, guys, last lap. Axel Reese picked this moment on 27. I did say Gresson went a bit too early. These old PRF1 Division 1 rivals, former at loggerheads of each other over the running ownership of PRF1 at once. Oh, it was Clem on it, sorry. Is Gresson going to have a move at the end? He's not, you know. 
What a thrilling end to the Grand Prix here. It is Axel Reese taking the checker flag by 2.10.0. Gets himself in a P3. Excellent ending. You see Master Spread just coming around down the final straight now. Davis caught him up by two seconds at the end. Only a th that three second penalty did kill off Zero's chances of the first position. Gonna go and bring in the top three guys already. As we are watching in, in the background. As we see Apex come across the line, that is him. Into sixth Big D. Some, I think the Big D's five second penalty was completely bullshit. I'll be honest with you, Dark Matt moves to seventh, but I don't know if Big D's penalty is going to carry on because he shouldn't have got penalised for that one bit at all. Woodsy's got a 10 second penalty for exceeding track limits. Where the fuck are you going? The fuck are you doing? How'd you get a 10 second penalty round here? It's all fucking road, you dickheads. Anyway, we'll move on. Goomba <laughs> into one, Avatar drops to 10. Oli Champ goes into... Well, he's 12th. I don't know where the fuck these guys are going to bloody finish. Uh, Oli then moves across the line. Can we have someone spin so I can sing like Gunners? Please. Someone spin quick. Oh, you spin me right round, baby, right round. There you go. I've done it. There you go. Betcha just fucking crashed off. Whitey goes P13. We've got Bakey then in 15th. And, of course, Woodsy, for some reason, was... What the fuck is it? Oh, he's out of fuel. Oh, uh, it's that blue. <laughs> <laughs> what a fucking glitch! It started oh, last can, can time. You, can you guys, can on. you guys tick your boxes by the way this time? Uh, I, I have done. You have done, right? So you fucking jumped the gun, motherfucker. What are you doing? It's not going to be time, you bitch. Right here we go. <laughs> 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 here we go. The once he finishes, then with no fuel, he waves at that car on the left exploded. Once he in P16. What a d disastrous race for those guys at the bottom. To be fair. But we have got ourselves driving a dark mark. Well, that's kind of... That's not my ruling. I'll give my ruling in a minute. Yeah. Oh, Wicked, we get to listen to this fucking noise in the background that makes it pretend that it's coming through us. The, the sound when you're waiting on the screen sounds like it's coming through a fucking swimming pool, doesn't it? There it is. <clears throat> Axel Reese, who took his moment. I love how the uh, you, uh, Greza and Zero are clapping on the podium. We're really thinking, I want to punch you in the face. <laughs> but we'll leave that there. <laughs> Right, um, so we've got a top three, ladies and gentlemen. It is Axel Reese. Fuck the podium celebration. It's not thirsty at all. Right, Axel Reese wins two tenths of a second. Great ending of the race. So Greza grabs faster slap and P2. Zero. Penalty, of course, costing him for the second race running. Or second race out of three. Beg him a pardon. P3. Spread a fourth and Davis fifth. Both having quiet races. Spread his tyres just kind of died off at the end. Apex, very quiet race. Moving up to sixth position. The best pace. The, be the best family and friends member of the race. Then we got a <laughs> dark mark in seventh. Big D, debatable penalty. That may swap around, of course. The Jaguar and Avatar Evil round up the remaining top ten. Everybody scores, of course, so guys. So we've got Goomba, Ollie Champ, YT, Betches, Blakey, and the 10 second penalty clad Woodsy, who's managed to be two minutes 17 behind on a one minute 30 lap. Good effort, F1. Well done. Uh, right then, I'm not raiding out today, guys, because I can't be fucked. Um, so we're going to go straight to the podiums. Uh, we have got ourselves race winner. Great little race that one. Axel Reese, well done, mate. Back to back wins. Talk us through. Yeah, it was, um, it was definitely a very fun race. Um, the rain uh, kind of ruined. Uh, Can I just interrupt one second? Mate, it sounds so weird to hear you speak with your balls dropped. <laughs> <laughs> it fucking does. Sorry, bro, <laughs> carry on. I, I meant to say it last week and I forgot to. I made myself laugh in the background. <laughs> Sorry, bro, it sounds so fuck carry on. <laughs> Sorry. Um, right. uh, but yeah, um, the, oh, fucking hell. the rain kind of ruined everyone's <laughs> chances to get um, a, a shot at a pole. Um, Zero had done a very good lap at the end and. Uh, yeah, the rain sort of just ruined my chance to try improve. Um, and then the race was... It was very sweaty. Um, lots of concentration needed. To It's quite easy to exceed track limits or even uh, spin on the curbs. Um, and there was a lot of different strategies, which was... It was, it was quite good, but I feel like no matter what sort of tyre compound you're on, it didn't really matter because the DRS and the slipstream was so powerful. Um, when I did manage to get in the lead, I saw uh, Greza was my biggest threat. He was on the mediums, and obviously I was on softs that died quite quick. Um, and I was actually 
quite happy that he, he passed me when he did because I could just stick behind him and pass him on the last lap and, and it, it, it helped a lot because he was definitely burning uh, his battery in the first sector of the last lap um, I saw his red light flashing but then uh, he lost the rear end coming on to the giant straight and from then it was just like taking candy from a baby so uh, yeah it was a good race <laughs> Oh, 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 oh. God, there's some spice on a bottom to take one and leave it there. Oh, don't worry, Grazza, mate. Just fucking pull this ball back up, mate. You know what I mean? It's all <laughs> But no, um, I was going to mention... <laughs> Sorry. I can't believe I fucking said that. Do you know what, guys? I've been away for so long. The filter's never come back, I promise. But um, yeah, I, I was going to... I'll talk about Grazza with your um, uh, choice of overtake in a minute when you did it. But yeah. no, you managed it really, really well, Reese. Obviously, you took your time with... Do you know what? You could probably... Well, obviously change my you know, theory here, it didn't look like you really, truly pushed when you were behind. It was like you were really content just to, as you mentioned, sit in the DRS trend, especially on the softs. That's why I was questioning. I thought you might have pitted in maybe a lap early for them, but in the end, it got you out where you needed to get out. You literally, I mean, you and, I think it was you and Spreader, was it? I believe you and, no, we, yeah, I think it was me and Reece, actually. Yeah, side by side, yeah. It was you two actually side by yeah. side about the pits. I was like, oh, yeah. fucking hell, fireworks here. <laughs> but um, no, obviously did a great job. Um, driver of the day was between one of you two. But I'm actually going to be quite surprising here, which may surprise you. I'm actually going to give it to Apex because of the amount of positions he gained and the way he just kind of, you know, cut for the field. You two probably joined second place, of course, based on that. Yeah, it's um, a good so fair play, guys. Forward staff in motorsport because obviously Apex, my teammate, first and sixth. So yeah. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Good. Good. <laughs> Is it really, really wrong that I forgot what all of the team names were? I was calling you the Green Dot all race. <laughs> fuck it, whatever. Um, yeah. Right. But no, well done. Uh, maximum points nearly, of course. Grazza bagged the fastest lap on the uh, I it was lap 19 or 20. Well done, Reese. Moving on to obviously to much. second place. Well done. Top job. Uh, Grazza, I, I did allude to what I was going to ask you first. I'm going to go straight in with it. Yeah. Was it your plan to overtake him that early? You did it perfectly in Monza. You timed that perfectly. Yeah. You um, think you went a lap early this time? <laughs> to be honest, if he was on mediums, I would have waited till the last lap. But I think it was because of me on soft. I had it in my mind they were going to just fall off and maybe I could get out of his DRS, you know. I mean, coming that stage on them softs, I don't know how we, your tyres were. He's good, but mine were gone. I know he binned it on the final lap, trying to get up that fucking right. Um, I don't know. I just thought I'd be able to get away from him and have more grip. Because I thought the stops would be dead, but he hung on, so fair play. <laughs> Good race. Uh, he, he, by the way, he's took your candy off you, by the way. just to, I'm trying to stir the pot <laughs> a little bit, you know. <laughs> Everybody in league racing is so nicey-nicey to each other. We need some fucking storylines. Like, we used to have back in RF1 days and SF1 days, man. Fuck hell. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Zero knows what I'm on about. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> Mr. Controversy here. Hello. Oh, yeah. No, um, no, really, really good drive, mate. I think, to be fair, I did call it. You know, when you went onto the medium tires, I was about to say, it's going to be whoever's tires. Zero, probably, arguably would have been in a stronger position barring the penalty if that race had gone another lap maybe two mm -hmm. we'd be talking to zero first before you two because of the way your tires all dropped zero fell right back but then have you noticed the gap kind of edged a little bit closer went from like eight nine temps all the way back up to two or three across the line obviously it ended up being eight temps between the three of you didn't it across but yeah Graz are excellent driving with the fastest lap as well of i thought reese would get it but you obviously worked your advantage you make get an extra point uh legend, typically good guys this is the first time i'm going to say that I don't know where we're at next week, and I couldn't give a shit because I'm not fucking streaming it. Well done, Monica, P2, Grazza, congratulations, congratulations on me. <laughs> oh, thank fuck, I'm not doing that one. Well, you can't, you spin me right around, man, do that shite. Right, anyway. <laughs> I'm still getting too excited. Um, well done, Grazza, P2, top job. Thank you. Zero, stop getting fucking penalties. <laughs> Every week, man, this is just so, un obviously, well, not quite as heartbreaking as Monza with you two, but it's just so... Tricky for you, already. You seem to. You never really cut any corners. It's just the outside. I believe you got two warnings. If I'm going to be correct here, from my observation, on the right, you're on the left hand side coming into um, sector two. Yep, double. I got a double warning yep. for that. Yeah, I was going to say because you ran wide and it just kind of nailed you with the three. Obviously not as bad as Big D's five second penalty, which is atrocious. But um, obviously I'll let the stewards deal with that shit. Talk us through your race, Zero. What made you... Were you trying to get to the softs, or was it always your plan to go medium-hard? It was always my plan to go medium-hard, because I just thought the softs would be dead if I went to the softs, and vice versa, going on the medium. So I thought, you know, I'll stick with the hards, because they seem like a decent race tyre. But um, I think ever since I got that free second, it kind of just knocked my confidence a bit. Um, but yeah, no, it was... Uh, I mean, I think regardless of me getting the free second or not, I think I was getting that third anyways, because... 
Grazer and Reese just managed to save up, I think, a little bit more battery and a little bit more tyres towards the end. And, uh, yeah, it is what it is. I mean, I'll take third at the end of the day. I think I'm still in first in the championship, I think. I don't quote me on that. I'm not too sure. Um, I believe Grazer is... Oh, no, wait there. No, yes, you would be, I believe. Yeah, you would have... No, actually. I don't know. Uh, we'll have to yeah, wait. you would be. Yeah, just. I don't know. But, yeah, um, my, my main goal is to try to get spread this season because I'm sick of finishing second to him. So I don't care if it, I don't care if Reese wins the title, Greta wins the title. As long as I finish out of spread, I'm happy. <laughs> so <laughs> oh, it's just been it's been too long. I've, I've been I've finished second to him for too long. I've had enough. So, but yeah, no. I'll, I'll would, you, would you guys like would, would you guys like to know how long it's been since Zero's won an eSIM championship? Too long. Uh, did you win an RF1 once? I did win RF1 a couple seasons ago. Ah, I wasn't there, don't count. Sorry, what? <laughs> okay, well, in that case, it'll be um, SF1... Uh... Miles ago, years ago. Yeah, like SF1... Guess who we beat for that championship, you prick? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I know. Makes it even better now, knowing that. But yeah, no, it's but no, no, been seriously. too long. But back on track anyway, obviously. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of stalling a bit, anyway. Good race, though. Uh, managed to draw up the battle with spread, of course. The, the gap to spread, begging my pun. I'm just doing the business, mate. Another, you're becoming, you and spread are the two consistent performers. Obviously, I know Reese and Grez both missed one race each. That's obviously, and obviously, when you when you get points every race, for every race that you do, any obviously, if you finish, you get points, don't you? That's what I'm trying to say. Mm. So, obviously, consistency was showing up. Of, of course, you can't help missing it unless you tell you where to fuck off. But, you know, it is what it is. Uh, but no, third position, well done. Good consistency. Apex driver of the day. Right, guys, I don't know when I'm coming back. I mean, you, you've got gunners next week, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Uh, right, move on. Sorry. Um, <laughs> who's that laughing in the background? <laughs> Sorry. Moving on. Uh, yeah, I'd, I'd love to, you know, I'd love to carry on streaming the whole season, you know what I mean? Pe pe people like what I do, but it is what it is. Guys, thank you very much. Have a lovely one. Take it easy. Much love. Well done, you top three. Good job. Everybody finishing now. We only have had one DNF, guys, in three fucking weeks. Excellent stuff from you guys. All the best. Much love. If I'm not back next week, have a great season. Pause up.